Welcome to this episode of Inside PTI. Today we're going to be covering a study around planter residue management using row cleaners. So let's talk about row cleaners first. You know, there's a few different things to, to lay out as far as the right row cleaner for your planter and so on. So there's a couple different styles of row cleaners. There's fixed row cleaners that mount rigid to the face plate of the row unit and they do not follow ground contours. Typically those get set just a little bit above the soil surface. They move big clods, big root balls, but don't get some of the smaller pieces of residue that can get hairpinned down in the furrow. The second style is floating. Those mount to the face plate as well, but they float and they follow ground contours. And in the majority of cases, a floating row cleaner is the better agronomic choice just simply because it can stay engaged with the ground and follow the ground contour. The second choice when it comes to row cleaner is uh, really the wheel style. So there's kind of a straight tine bevel style or there's a more aggressive tooth style. Different manufacturers call it different things. Sharp tooth, scissor wheel, razor wheel. And those are really designed for heavier residue situations. They have more surface area on each tooth, so they're more engaged to move more, uh, more material. Of these wheels, neither one is bad. It's just use the right one for the right environment. If you're in real heavy no-till, the more aggressive shark tooth, razor wheel, scissor wheel, probably gonna be a better choice. If you are in conventional tillage, strip till, the straight tine or beveled tine are gonna be the better choice because they won't tend to move as much soil. Getting a row cleaner set up right, and the goal of it once it's set up right, is to remove surface residue and residue in that top about an inch of soil so that it doesn't get hairpinned down in the seed trench by a disc opener and then cause late emergence. So there's a few problems that occur when we have residue down in the seed trench with the seed. Number one, it's gonna change the temperature and the moisture that that seed gets because that organic matter, that residue from a prior crop, is going to absorb moisture, absorb temperature. So a seed beside residue will emerge later than a seed that's just surrounded by soil. There's also some uh, disease impacts. The residue as it breaks down throughout the growing season, especially early on in the, in the season, as that plant has emerged and has a young seedling, uh, it, can, it can have some allelopathic effects and cause seedling blights in that plant. And then there's also nutrient tie-up. Microbes feed on residue and microbes also utilize nutrients and early on in the season, those nutrients aren't usually as readily available in cooler soil. And so having residue by the seed can cause some nutrient deficiencies. So having the correct residue, a floating row cleaner with the right wheel will help us be able to get that residue out of the way. Now we did a study um, at the PTI farm here over the last three years. We'll start talking 2020 data. And it was with Yetter floating row cleaners, uh, 2967-029 is the model that we used. And they had uh, air cylinder, it's a precision planting crop product called clean sweep on them. And then that air cylinder, the pressure applied down or lift can be adjusted from the cab. In 2020, the way it was run was we ran the operator setting what we thought was best of 20 PSI down, had a yield of 216.5 bushels. Then we removed all pressure, no down, no lift, had a uh, full float. So as if clean sweep had never been installed, a three bushel loss, and then where we had no row cleaner, we used a clean sweep cylinder and lifted the row cleaners out of the ground so they weren't engaged and lost 4.9 bushels, okay? So you can see there, having a row cleaner and getting it adjusted properly provided yield impacts and ROI there. Now on the three-year study, doing the same study, um, the highest yield came from the 20 PSI down. That's what the operator, the, the, our team at the PTI farm in Pontiac, Illinois, is seen as the best setting in their, in their environment, which is more conventional till. Um, we've had, on average in the three years, a 3.2 bushel loss from full floats, so engaged, but just whatever the weighted row cleaner is, and an 11.4 bushel loss from no row cleaner. So that points to the importance of having a row cleaner, even in conventional tillage. Now, let's talk about clean sweep just a little bit, how we were adjusting these row cleaners. You know, setting row cleaners correctly is time consuming and it's frustrating. You got to get out of the cab and go to 16 rows and make an adjustment. That takes a lot of time. and You got to scrape up your knuckles, hit your head. No fun. Clean sweep allows you to make row cleaner adjustments right from the cab and it eliminates the frustration of getting row cleaners set, saving you a lot of time while planting. So it's the time and the agronomics. So you got an air cylinder on every row. If you're a user of a precision planting 2020 third generation monitor, there is a module, a row cleaner control module you can add to your planter to control 
um, the clean soup cylinders through to 2020. If you're not, you can use a manual box as well. Choice is yours. You don't need the 2020 to run clean sweep. Now, what's the return on investment of clean sweep? Let's say you have uh, floating row cleaners on the planner already and you want to add clean sweep. So on 16 rows, and we plant 800 acres of corn, let's say, um, it's going to cost us about $4,800 to add clean sweep to our planter, to the existing row cleaners we have. $4,800 for the clean sweep system. Um, so that's about six bucks an acre across the 800 acres, so not a lot. At 375 corn, clean sweep will be paid with just a 1.6 bushel per acre increase, right? Now, in three years, we've seen a 3.2 bushel increase compared to just a row cleaner without adjustments. So we pay for that easily two times in that first year. We'd see over five years if we add clean sweep after we pay the $4,800, about $43,200 of increased revenue based on this three-year data from adding clean sweep and adjusting it correctly compared to full float where we never made adjustments to it. So today's inside PTI tip of the day is number one, run a floating row cleaner and equip that with the right wheels. And then number two, make sure it's adjusted correctly. We saw 11.4 bushel advantages from running a row cleaner versus not, and then a 3.2 bushel advantage from taking that row cleaner and controlling it with clean sweep. Now, that's the tip of the day. I do want to make one note. Precision Planning is excited about a new product that we have in 2021, testing in 2021, called Reveal. Reveal is a new row cleaner concept that's a beta test this year. There's really three things about Reveal that are exciting. Number one, it's mounted to the frame of the planter. So it eliminates the effects to row unit ride and downforce that traditional row unit mounted row cleaners have. Number two, the adjustment of time depth, how deep the tines are working, is independent of pressure depth. And then the third thing is the depth of the tines are gauged from an internal gauge wheel that runs on the clean surface of the soil as opposed to treaders that run on the unclean surface of the soil. So that's in testing for this year. Check out the link here in the video and you can watch a short video talking about reveal. And we'll have more to share on Reveal later this year. So getting row cleaners right, whether it's with Clean Sweep or we're excited about what Reveal might offer you in the future, getting row cleaners set right is super important. Thanks for being with us today on Inside PTI. If you have questions on row cleaners, reach out to a local Precision Planning Premier dealer. They're the folks in your area that can tailor your planter, tailor your row cleaners and residue management to your farm. If you have questions about this study or any others, Feel free to email us at InsidePTI at PrecisionPlanning.com. Thanks for being with us today. We'll see you next time on Inside PTI.